So we were looking over this car, aka Shaw's looking it over Shaw's like car. It yeah, drives like an animal. It drives, it drives really good. And Shaw's really upset that um, he's not going to be able to get it. So car sold. The owner's going to come pick the car up soon, and we were just giving it another once over because we noticed that this car has uh, pretty good handling characteristics, way better than than most. And what we found out was a car has HKS coilovers, which is pretty sweet, and B, it has a host of suspension upgrades outside of that, including a lot of chassis stiffening beams and support all across the car that are just tying this, the subframe together to the chassis. And uh, that's, a, that's a great way to stiffen the entire car up. You can see it's got these great braces over here, which is pretty sweet. It goes from the the uh, mount for the drive shaft all the way to this subframe as well. So it ties the subframes to the to the to the car to the chassis, and then has a, a host of these different bracings going all the way across, and some mounts that are definitely upgraded. So pretty cool. And then it has the Nismo arms in the back here to change the camber. It increases the camber rate a little bit and gives it a lot more aggressive handling. So the handling on this car is awesome. One thing that I would suggest if, uh, you know, going, going off of the other cars that we've done, I would suggest to the next owner, if you get this car, definitely consider doing a haul tech because that's one thing that this car needs. Handling is perfect, power, let's get it up a little bit. I like the Haltech for these cars just because it gets the factory Japanese ECU out and allows us to really dial the car in for the US fuel and it gives us a, a little more power as, as well because we're we're dialing them the boost, we're, we're getting the timing and everything where it needs to be and we're extracting the most power out of it that way. So definitely consider a Haltech. If you get a car from us, it should be like job one. Get a Haltech. Of course we do the maintenance stuff but consider it. So if that's your car, whoever you are, you know who you are. Trust me. Time for a haul tech. Special delivery for you, bud. Oh yeah, you see this? Look at that. This is some fresh tires from my truck some because... Big meat. Oh yeah. I like this. This is good Shaw's, off road to, uh, tread here. Shaw's truck's Tires are destroyed. They're well, gone. He I mean, ran over. He ran over like a fucking 12-inch bolt or something. Like nails. There's there's kinds of stuff that's not. Yeah. So it's it's, not, it's, it's not looking it's not looking great. The, the car shakes when you drive it. Not good. But um. So we got new we got new meat. Well, now that I know that I'm not going to be buying our GTR, which someone took out of me, they snaked it right out of me. I upgrade the truck. He had okay. to go on a little spending spree. Spending spree. If I can't spend my money on the car that I want, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my truck look good. So. We're gonna put some tires on it maybe tomorrow because I think Peter's backed up today. And then uh, I gotta fix the um, glow plugs. I gotta put new glow plugs in there. I gotta put the sensor. And then maybe by the end of the year, I'll have it painted. And nice. you know what? My truck can pull more than Jack's Dusty. So that's it. That's it. I beat you. I beat you. What now? I, I could pull Dusty all day long. Okay. That, I hope we have you, a pull off. I hope you can. I'm gonna put a rope on the back of my truck and the back of Dusty. And we'll just have a pull off. Like, yeah, like the trucks do. Okay. Ooh. Well, I'm not gonna argue with you there. That's for sure. All right. Finally, Jack's not arguing with me. And you know what? If if, if you were the mayor of Fun Country, that would be what you would do every day. I'm sure. Oh yeah, you see that? Fun country. That's where you're heading, buddy. That's where I'm going. Straight to fun country. Okay, look at this. This is also intricate design. Look, I had them also personally monogrammed for you. Mm, dick. So yeah. Can you see it? Put some light there. There it is. Yeah. Just for you, bud. Well, you know. Personalized. If you want to be part of fun country, you gotta be, you gotta a, be dick. a dick. So there it is. So today, we've got an interesting car on the dyno. This is a basically completely stock GTR that uh, we picked up a while back. And the owner is our good friend Tony. How we doing? What's up? So Tony picked this car up from us and um, we're gonna be 
helping him basically get it into shape. That's gonna be the way I put it. The idea here with this car is we're gonna leave it stock. We've only put a down pipe or a front pipe, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and then fuel system upgrade so that we can run E85. We added a Hall Tech to it. So we're gonna tune it with the Hall Tech. Basically this will be a good exercise to see what a stock GTR can do with very basic bolt-on, i.e. a front pipe and E85. So a really, really basic setup. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see what it is. I know Tony's excited to see what it feels like. Yep, been waiting. I'm excited. Yeah, he came a long way, all the way from CT. He came with all his buddies. Everyone that's in the shop right now is one of his friends. So if I do a bad job, they're just going to hurt me. <laughs> I better not. So right now we're loading up the map. And like I said before, we're using Haltech to tune. We always use Haltech on these cars. If you have one of these cars and you don't have a Haltech, you are wasting time. So uh, definitely get yourself one. And if you need any help, we can help you set it up. The customer support from Haltech is bar none, the best that I've seen, period. They will literally rewrite the software for you on command if you have a problem and you need something tweaked in there. So kudos to Haltech. Love you guys, and we are going to set this car up right now, so hang tight. I'm gonna dial it in and get a baseline number, just see where we're at, and start to tune it up. I'm gonna start on pump gas. It's pretty low on gas right now. Uh, we've upgraded a fuel pump injectors for that, and we also have a content sensor for E85. So it's hooked into the Hall Tech. We're able to uh, adjust for that content change. So it's seamless. You can just pour in gas, pour in E85. It measures the difference, and it adjusts the tune accordingly. So I'm gonna tune it on pump gas and then we're gonna flop it over to E85 and see what she gets. What do you got to say? This could be mine, but it's not. That's what happened, that's it, that's all I got. He's in denial, he's I'm sad. Denial. It's all these red, all these red GTRs, they just, they keep taunting me. Well, this one's not yours. How much HPs is this gonna make? I don't know. Oh, wait, are we see. gonna guess? I'm in it. Go ahead, what's, guess. What, what do we got, what, what's in it? Stock. Oh, oh yeah, this is gonna put down Four. You're freaking just get out of here, man. Is that gonna put down four? No. It's gonna put down four. Guys, if you ever if you four, ever, four fifteen point six. If you ever ask Shamir what your car is gonna make on the dyno, he's going to be wrong. Remember that. Four fifteen point six. Let's see what they got. So the first run was our baseline. We uh, we ended up with about 225. Let's see if I can zoom from here, but it was about 225. So we're gonna go from there. Um, I think I can get her to probably like 240, somewhere in that 250 range on pump gas. That would be okay. Uh, stock boost level, I'm not trying to turn it up. The ceramic turbos can't take anything. So I'm not gonna try. But on E85, it'll be a little bit safer so we can crank it a little bit. But that's a good starting point. That's congruent with the factory power rating and right about where we expected. So that run was our backup run after some tuning. 262, right at 7,000 RPM. That's good for pump gas. We're gonna go ahead and dump in the 85 now and see what she gets. Over 300 would be great. All right, so you can see fuel composition is now showing about 83%, which is about right. It'll vary a little bit, but That'll do it for what we're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up a little bit and see what we can get out of it on E85. So 
there you go. Picked up a considerable amount of power, clearly. Good for another 50 horsepower just switching to E85. That's exactly what we expect. Maybe a little bit stronger than we expect. But anyway, at that boost level, we're safe. Not too worried about it. Stock turbos aren't hurting too bad. And I know for a fact, it's gonna feel nice. So that's what E85 gets you on a completely stock. This has a front pipe, that's it. Still has a stock cat back, cat, everything. So everything is still as factory, basically. So that's what you'd expect, and uh, it answers a few questions for me. So, there you go. So I made uh, one more backup pull after, we changed the spark plugs as a precautionary to make sure that they were good, and uh, she ended up with about 325 to the wheel. So that's where we're gonna leave her. It was three, actually 329 to be exact. So 329 to the wheel, that's pretty good for that setup. He's gonna like it, it's gonna feel nice and gives you an idea of what a stock GTR can hammer down on the dyno with a little E85 and a Haltech, of course. And a me, of course. And a Roberto, of course. That's it.